Paula White, who serves as one of the members of President Trump's Faith Council, recently sat down uh, in an interview where she discussed how President Trump really believes in God's divine plan uh, for not only for you know all of humanity, especially for the United States, but really all of the world. And this is something that President Trump really uh, holds true. Uh, she sat down for the interview here and said that President Trump surrounds himself with people of God who pray for and counsel him during the tough times, Pastor Paula White claimed. Uh, as I mentioned, she is a member of President Trump's uh, Faith Advisory Council. She's also a senior pastor of New Destiny Christian Center there in Orlando, Florida. Um, in the interview, White goes on to describe uh, how her and other Christian leaders help the president in the wake of tragedies. And we know how many we've seen throughout the course of this year, guys. There's certainly been a lot of them. She says, especially with the recent church shootings that took place in Sutherland Springs, Texas. According to White, the president surrounds himself with such advisors because his heart has always been for people and for God's intervention and for God's divine plan. White emphasized, as commander-in-chief, Donald Trump needs people who can minister to him because he carries the weight of this nation and much of the world on his shoulders. Uh, probably more so than any other president we've seen in recent history. With so much pressure, with so much chaos, unrest, uneasiness taking place in the world right now. I can't really remember a time where I have seen so many different faith leaders pray over a president. He's been so open to prayers. Uh, these pastors guys and these evangelists and so on, they pretty much have open access to him. Uh, whenever they want, you know, they're in the White House. You see them together all the time. So he is very humble, Trump is, uh, to receive, uh, you know, their advice, you know, to hear the, the wisdom that they have. You know, he's being taught. He's learning. He's new in his Christian walk. But he's very wise because he is surrounding himself with people that are higher than him spiritually. But he's learning from them. And from that, God is starting to raise him up. He's building him up. He's teaching him. He's molding him, making him exactly who he wants to be for his divine plan and purpose. Pretty amazing to see. Pretty amazing time to be alive and to witness all these things taking place. One thing is for sure, we know that Jesus Christ is coming back soon. If you guys don't know him as your Lord and Savior today, if you would like to do so, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today, guys. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for all of eternity. There's no greater decision that you're ever going to make than to give your life to Christ. I encourage you to make that decision today. You can also email me directly, cardsfan480 at gmail.com. I'll put my email below right there in the description so you guys can have access to it from there. Also, if you have any prayer requests, feel free to let me know as well. I'd love to be in agreement with you. Whatever it is that you're believing God for today, just let me know. All right, guys, I'll continue here to keep you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.